Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to Season 14, Episode 8 of Eagle News. Today is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020, and happy National Rhino Day. It is also the first day of fall. My name is Emily. And my name is Sarah. Headlines! Welcome back, Eagles, from your three-day weekend. While we had yesterday off, the teachers were working hard here at Hyatt's with professional development activities all day long. Remember to keep social distancing in the hallways in between classes. Also make sure you're still walking around the big red post by the lobby. Try your best to sanitize or wash your hands before and after class. Students, keep filling those water bottles up. Stay hydrated during the school day. Lunch news! Make sure that you are using social distancing in line and in the kitchen at lunch. It's important that when you're waiting for anything in the kitchen that you wait on one of the red X's or blue circles. Manners are always appreciated when ordering food or asking the lunch staff for help. Let's head to Caroline and the Eagle News Weather Report station for today's weather. Thanks, Emily. Today is going to be sunny with a high of 71 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. Fall weather is here, so make sure you dress warm or have a sweatshirt with you. The sun is setting sooner, so make sure you get outside and soak in a little sun before it gets dark tonight at 7.28. Now let's head back to the newsroom for lunch with Emily and Sarah. Thanks for that great weather report, Caroline. Hey, Sarah, what are you having for lunch today? <laughs> a sandwich. That sounds so good. I actually like don't know what's on my lunch today. What's the kitchen serving today? Good question. Let's check out the lunch report with Mrs. Carr in the kitchen. Roll it. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today's menu is a chicken basket, fries, cheeseburgers, and Jets pizza. Make it a great day. Thank you, Mrs. Carr, for that wonderful lunch report that looks delicious. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> it's now time for trivia. Let's hear what the question of the day is in the Eagle News Family Feud Trivia Studio. Thank you, Sarah, and welcome to Trivia Night here on Eagle News. Remember that you need to text Mr. Meta the answer to earn your points for today's show. Today's trivia is actually the same as it always is. Thanks, Mr. Meta. Uh. <laughs> Name something that you would see in a, what is it? Psychiatrist. Psychi <laughs> Psychiatrist <laughs> office. Again. Name something that you would see in a psychiatrist's office. Send Mr. Meta your answer to earn your points. Let's head back to the newsroom for today's sports report. Thursday night in the NFL, Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals played each other for Cleveland's first home game of the season. Cleveland took care of the Bengals 35-30 in a shootout. This weekend on Sunday at 1 o'clock, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Denver Broncos go face-to-face -face at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. In the NBA, the Toronto Raptors took a two-games-to-none lead on Thursday night with a 106-101 win over the Boston Celtics. In the NHL, the Tampa Bay Lightning beat the New York Islanders in overtime to reach the Stanley Cup Finals. They played Game 1 against the Dallas Stars over the weekend on Saturday night. In baseball, the Pirates beat the Cardinals 5-1, and the Indians beat the Tigers 10-0. The 8th grade football team defeated Orange 26-6 with a huge team effort. Gino S., Jake S., Charlie D. all had touchdowns. Jacob H. forced a fumble that was recovered. Christian P. Congrats to the team on their big victory. The girls' golf team came up with a short on Thursday at Dublin. We hope that Caitlin and Hannah had a good tournament over the weekend. The Hyatt's vol volleyball team travels to Upper Arlington Hastings Middle School after school on Monday. For today's video segment, Mr. Meta and Adam were inspired by Levi making fried rice that they decided to make some mini pizzas. The only problem is, is that Mr. Meta didn't want to edit the video. Eleni from Eagle News was the first student to edit the video, so here is what she came up with. Pay attention to the advice Mr. Meta has for hand, handling jalapenos. That's right. <laughs> it is very important. Let's make some fanny pizza. All right, Eagles, we're making pepperoni pizzas tonight for dinner at the Meta House. So I have my shells, I got olive oil, I've got oregano, jalapenos, pepperoni, and of course cheese. 
Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. You start the stove, gotta wash our hands before we cook. All right, everybody, step one is to put a little olive oil on the crust. All right, next step is to spread out the sauce. Next up, cheese. Next up, pepperoni. Next up, jalapenos. One advice about jalapenos. If you're gonna use your hands to grab it, because these hands are clean, don't touch your eyes afterwards. You got it? Because it'll burn. Now let's get back to cooking. Some oregano to top it off. Time to put the pizzas in. Set your timer in nine minutes. The pizza's done. It's time to cut them. It's time to eat. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Mr. Meta, Adam, and Emmy Claire for showing us some tasty pizzas. Now let's head to in the, into the studio with Caroline for today's Day in History segment. Thanks, Emily. On this day in 1985, it started with an offhand remark made by Bob Dylan. During his performance in, at Live Aid, the massive fundraising concert held at Wembley Stadium, London, and JFK Stadium, Philadelphia, in the early summer of 1985, as television views around the world phoned in donations in support of African famine relief, Dylan said from the stage, I hope that some of the money, maybe they can just take a little bit of it, maybe one or two million, maybe, and use it, say, the, to pay the mor mortgage, mortgages on some of the farms and the farmers here. Now let's send it back to Emily and Sarah. That's it for today's Eagle News. But before we go, we want to share with you our quote of the day. Some days you will feel a little down. The highs and lows are human nature. Your life should be filled with light and shade. It is these ups and downs that remind us what is important in life. My name is Emily. And my name is Sarah. And my name is Caroline. Thanks for watching Eagle News today. Have an amazing Tuesday, Eagles. Bye! Bye.